How many are in each group? Think about this question during the lesson. Three friends have 12 toys to share equally. How many toys will each friend get? Into how many groups should you put the toys? Why? You will put the toys into three equal groups because there are three friends who want to share the toys equally. Division is an operation that is used to find how many equal groups or how many are in each group. You can show division with a bar diagram. What is the total number of toys to divide? What part of the bar diagram shows the total number of toys? Select your answer. The line above the bar shows the total. Why is the bar under the line divided into three equal parts? The three parts represent the three friends who are sharing the toys. Put one toy at a time in each group. How many toys will each friend get? When all the toys are grouped, there will be four in each group. You can write a division equation to find the number in each group. Each friend will get four toys. How is division different from multiplication? Division separates a total into equal groups. Multiplication joins equal groups to make a total. Now you know that division can be used to equally share a group of objects. If there were four friends, how would they share the twelve monkeys? Try it yourself. Division is an operation that has us divide numbers and objects into smaller equal groups. Let's say you have a pile of toys that you divide between your friends. What do you call that? Sharing. Division is like sharing. Let's take a look. In this problem, you have 20 t-shirts that need to be washed. You need to divide them equally into five laundry bins. How many go in each bin? This bar diagram shows the five bins that we are dividing into. But how many go in each? This question asks us to solve the problem 20 divided by 5 because we have 20 shirts that we are dividing into five equal groups. When we divide the shirts equally, we find that 20 divided by 5 equals 4. Four shirts go in each bin. Division is just breaking up a total into equal groups. You divide, or share, the items in that group. You can try it with anything. Go ahead and divide up the items in your room and write your own division problems.